Hey everyone, welcome back and in today's video we are going to learn about what is varies, history and some of the related commands over this video. Okay, so let's get started with this. Let me do a little bit of zoom and hope the screen is visible to you. If you are wondering in which ID I am currently present, I am currently present on a web app by CoCalc wherein which you can run your Linux command in a very efficient way. Okay, so uh, before creating this video, I just created one directory over there. Okay, just to save time. Okay, and how do I create a directory you already know by mkdir command. Okay, now so the first thing that we are going to learn today is about where is command, what is command. Okay. So just as we have properties over Windows, we have the same thing over Linux as well. Okay. So let's say that you have want to create one file. We make use of fetch command followed by the file name. And let's say the file is test enter. In order to release the file, we make use of ls. In order to see more details, ls hyphen ltr. In order to see the hidden file as well, we make use of ls hyphen la. Okay. Let me clear the uh, things in the console. Okay. Now let's say you want to search a particular file, but since Linux doesn't provide you with a search bar, what thing will you use? You will make use of varis command. So where is followed by the file that you are searching for. Let us say I want to search the place where in which ls command is stored. I'll make use of varis ls and press enter. You can see it is stored under user bin ls. And if you are wondering what is uh, the remaining thing, you just have to ignore them. You just ignore this stuff because it is just going to print all the thing wherein which Alice has been listed. Let us search for another thing. Where is touch? And what is touch? Touch is a command to create a file. Enter. It is stored in user bin. Okay. Where is vi? The editor. The notepad of Linux. Okay user bin ls so this is how you will be able to search the files which are present on linux let me clear this by pressing ctrl l okay we created a file now in order to modify the file to add content we make use of vi followed by the file name and what was the name of file it was file enter let me write something over there by going into insert mode by pressing i this is a file this is a sample content Okay. In order to save it, we press escape colon wq enter. In order to read the content of the file, we make use of cat followed by the file name. Okay. All right. Clear it. Now, what if I want to know something about some commands? We make use of what is space followed by the thing. Now, let us say we will make use of SSH. What is SSH? SSH enter. SSH is a remote login client. Okay, you want to know about what is bash over Linux. So the term, the terminologies which you come across over Linux, you make use of what is command. What is bash? Bash is uh, born shell. Okay, if you want to know more about what is, there is a manual page, man space what is, press enter. It will give you all the information about what is. Okay, and what is that? Display one line manual page descriptions. Okay. So that was all about uh, what is comma and here all the things has been listed over there. Okay, just press Q or here you have get you will be getting tons of description about uh, what are the attributes that you can uh, use with that. Okay, so that was all about it. Okay, all right. Let me clear this once again. We make use of man command which stands for manual, right? Okay, next thing. Now let's say that you forgot the previous command you entered and you want to know the history of it. We make use of history command. Enter. So these are all the commands which I have been entering from the start of this video. Okay. Let me clear this. All right. Now the next thing would be like what if I want to know what is the file type. Okay. Let us create one file. Touch new. New. The file is created. You can see there are two, three files, file, new and test. Okay. Now I'll type file space new. It is saying that it is empty since in Linux, everything is a file. Okay. We want to add content to it. We make use of uh, VI. Okay. And we'll add content over there. But since we already added content over file, we'll do something like file followed by the file name. Okay. So that was test. It is empty. I'm going to add some content. So 
we add test enter i to go into insert mode and this is a text escape colon wq to save so w was capital so let me write it once again escape colon wq and cat to read the file followed by the file name and that is file press enter this is a sample text okay now i want to know what is the file type i'll type file space the file name okay so it is file enter it is a ascii text okay let me create a directory over here mkdir r ls i know that it is a uh, directory it is a folder so file space r what will happen over here it will say that hey it is a directory okay hope you got today's video we learned about where is what is history file operations okay so hope you got today's video and see you in the another one thank you and have a great day bye bye